Ken Safano, it's Sailor Bailey McDowell, and I'm back here at Pioneer Stadium because on Friday, me and Lockie watched some of the best karate athletes from around the globe compete at the Under 21 and Senior Oceana Championships. It was an amazing day with a lot of action. Let's go check it out. The Oceana Championships, an elite competition where the best of the best face off against each other for a medal. At this year's event, there were close to 300 competitors from six different countries, including Aotearoa New Zealand, Australia, New Caledonia, Tahiti, Fiji, and for the first time, the Solomon Islands. We made sure to speak with Karate New Zealand President Grant Holland to hear what the day consists of. You might be able to see over my shoulder there's uh, preliminary rounds starting uh, earlier today. The, the whole uh, Oceania Championship will be uh, run and finished today. Um, two disciplines, quite different. One, kata, where uh, uh, individuals will come out and perform. They'll uh, perform to a set series of movements that, um, uh, you know, almost an imaginary uh, uh, attack and, and demonstration. It's sort of, it's used for, you know, keeping fit, strength, um, and, and has ties back to a long way back in history. And then uh, the other form, uh, or other main discipline you'll see is kumite. So two, two people fighting, predominantly uh, with, with uh, colours of red and blue, um, and it's controlled contact and, and, and scoring points. So uh, one very individual uh, and one very sort of um, fierce uh, competition. In the kumite competition, athletes use different techniques which accumulate one to three points. A straight punch to the body or face being one point, kick to the body, two, kick to the head, three, and a punch to the opponent who has been taken down, three points. It was an amazing day showcasing a growing sport that everyone can get behind. Yeah, I think one of the neat things, you know, we, we love our rugby and netball and, and our major sports in, the, in New Zealand, for sure I do. Uh, <laughs> um, I think what's been pointed out to us is, um, you know, a lot of those sports are heavily dominated by male or heavily dominated by, by female and how do you get that diversity of the mix. Um, so we are roughly 50-50. Uh, You'll see a lot uh, at grassroots uh, back, back in, the, in the training dojos where the mix is even more, is now swinging more towards um, female than, than male. Um, so that's really neat. But the other thing is, is the representation of, you know, the, the diversity of the ethnic spread. We've, there's every race and every ethnicity uh, in karate that, that, that's in New Zealand. And I think that's, uh, that's neat that it represents what New Zealand uh, is. And we're lucky enough to have it. And his message to the Kiwi competitors today? What I'd, what I'd want them to do is, uh, we've got this badge here and there's a, there's a big story behind that. To us, this is the equivalent of the All Blacks badge. And it's to add, you know, it's to add value to the to the threads in this badge. They're part of the story, right? From those that have been before or those that are going to come next. The other thing I'd say is, is um, we hope we hope if they want to win, uh, that they do well. You know, there's real value in that medal. That's worth something. But uh, also, there's um, not everyone's going to be able to win today. And sometimes it's more richness and um, and learning rather than winning, right? So I think every, there's no losers today. It's learn, win, fantastic. Although quite small in our country, with around 13,000 people involved, karate is absolutely massive on the world stage, with over 100 million people taking part. In speaking to a local karate athlete who has been a part of the national team for 10 years now, the message was clear. The family environment karate provides is like no other. Yeah, we are such a tight-knit group. We're, I think, given the fact that we're so small means that we get to um, integrate a little bit more. There's not... Um, a big divide of where we can go and, and where we are. Um, we're all around the same age now. The seniors have taken upon itself to make sure the juniors have a really good aspect to grow up to and we build that um, foundation for them to come. Um, it's about past, like we look to the past guys and how well we had it growing up and coming into the team and being all that stuff and the present guys want to do that for the future. So I think that, that line is really important for us. And Britt's passion for karate goes beyond competing. She mentors the youth as a way to give back. I mean, I've been in the sport for so long. I had a great mentor growing up myself. 
I've had excellent coaches and to be in the sport for a long time and competing at a high level for a long time, it makes sense to give back and just make sure that that development is there and continues to be there. So that's all, that's, 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 that's my why. <laughs> and it was a successful day for Christchurch athlete Melissa Dunn, collecting two bronzes and winning the under 21 part of division. I think I had good focus today. I felt like really in the zone. You can kind of tell on your days that you are in the mode. It's like, you're on point. Despite a knock to the face and a suspected broken nose, Melissa got the win and kept competing. And her why? Just that kind of feeling of wanting to get to the end, like even if you're, it's a like contact sport, so that sort of thing's gonna happen. Just wanna feel proud of yourself at the end of the day. And despite the knocks, Melissa knows everyone's got each other's backs at the end of the day. Um, I think because karate is quite a niche sport, I guess you could say. It's not like a huge, it's definitely a minor sport in New Zealand. So like by having that strong community, it helps people stay in it. So like even if we're competing against each other, we'll be laughing beforehand, you know. Like we're not out there to kill each other. Like, yeah, I think having that good foundation of support helps everyone stay in it and keep on going. Team New Zealand represented the country proudly, collecting 14 bronzes, 5 silvers and 9 gold medals. Looking ahead to the future, after competing at the NZ Open over the weekend, athletes are aiming to be selected for the World Senior Championships in Hungary and the World Combat Games in Saudi Arabia in October. And for NZ Karate, the next step is to get into the Commonwealth Games. I think the relevance for um, minority sports in New Zealand is this. Um, you know, for, for the public watching, to, they love watching the Olympics, they love watching events, Commonwealth, uh, Commonwealth sports, Commonwealth games. And I think if we can, if we can uh, get into the Commonwealth games, we're close to getting recognition now, and then we'll seek full games inclusion, um, that you know, karate will be seen like, like the boxing was a couple of years ago. What's this boxing about? You win medals at, at Commonwealth Games, then um, you get coverage. You get coverage, people want to know what it's about. And I think that's, that's really great because then karate can offer all the good things that it brings beyond kicking and, uh, and punching. For them, it's a ticket to winning over Kiwi sports fans. It's, it's accessible, it's real, and it's a big stage. We came away from Birmingham with what 26 medals. Um, if we could, if we could pull uh, a big medal tally at Commonwealth Games, it is showing New Zealand what karate is really all about. And with an exciting performance like today, it's sure worth a watch.